In this movie, the second one in the section of the animation area, we're going to take a look at a very important part of working with the anime tool set, and that happens to be a very useful little device called a switch layer. Let me show you how that is used real quickly. And there's actually a lot of creative ways you can use it, but we'll look at one of the most common ways. I'm going to go ahead and just create two little blank eyes here. I'm going to copy that, paste it, and then move it over. In my layers palette, I'm going to name that. Let me move this so you can see it. Eyes round, and select OK. Now with this layer selected, I'm going to come up to the Duplicate Layer tool and click on it. And now we've got a duplicate of that. I'll open that layer up and change the name to Eyes Happy. With the Selection tool here, we're just going to select the bottom of that, actually with my Translate tool, and move that up for that kind of crinkle you get when you, you smile and your eyes close up a little bit. Now this looks like nothing special and that's because we haven't added a switch layer yet. We simply created the base art to work with the switch layer. So I will come down to our layers palette under new layer, click that once, and come down to this little feature called switch. I'll go ahead and name that like we should always do and just say I switch. Switch layers are a unique layer that only allows one of the sub-layers or the layers contained within it to show at any one time. So I'm going to drag both the layers we created into the eye switch. We can see they're a subset now since they've been indented. And depending on which one I click on, we can see that it hides the other one and then displays the one that we've clicked on. Well, that's nice, but how do we control that over time? And this is where we kind of get into a little bit of the keyframing section before we get there. I'm simply going to move down the timeline here to 18 frames with the eye switch layer selected. I'm going to go ahead and right click if you're on the PC or have a Mac special mouse or you can option click on the Mac. And this is where you designate which layer you want to show. I'm going to say eyes round and then click on that. Automatically over here in the timeline we have a keyframe added at that point in time. If I move down here to say 24 frames, come back to our switch layer and do eyes happy. Now it's keyframed, one layer is hidden, the other one's revealed. And then we'll come back to our round eyes here. And there's a couple things I can do. I can come over to the layers palette and do the right click or option click again. Or I can simply come select the keyframe, do copy with the timeline indicator right there. I can say paste and we've pasted that in there. So as we noticed with the character in the movie just before this, with Windsor, he has sudden eye changes for happy and blinking. This is how it's done with the switch layer. You can do this for smiles, you can do this for all sorts of fun things. But let's take this to the next level. I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. And no, I'm not going to save that one. It's so simple. But let's do a little of the same thing here. I'm going to name this layer Eyes. And I probably should have said something a little more descriptive like eyes, happy. But I'm just going to do some round ones here. I'm going to click some multiple ones right here. I've got those going on. I'll come over to my Select Shape tool. I'll fill that with black. Now with my Move tool or Translate tool, actually my G tool to select, I'll double click that. Back to the Translate tool, keyboard shortcut T. I'm back to the keyboard shortcut G to double click on that layer and select it. Back to T and we'll get ourselves a nice little highlight in here. Now here's something really important that we're going to look at and it's a nice feature for having smoother transitions. In the little preceding example where we had a fast switch between items and that's very common even in the pro animation market. Watch anything on Saturday morning or some commercials where they've got animation like that, you'll see fast switches like that real regularly. However, we're going to add a switch layer right now. Come down to switch, We've got a new layer, and we'll just name that I switch. And now under the tab for the options for this layer, we're going to enable interpolate sub layers. 
What this will do is that when I have a switch between layers in the switch layer, it's going to give me automatically smooth animation between the changes. I'll select OK. Now there's something to be aware of when this happens, and that is that this only works with vector art, and it only works with vector art that has the exact same number of nodes or points on the shape as the layer that it's switching to. So you can't have a circle switch to a square if there's more than four points in there. The easy way to do that is to come to layers to make sure I've got the same amount of points and simply duplicate that layer again. This is I layer 2. I'll drag that into I switch. I'll do the same thing here for the one before. And let's name this layer something a little more meaningful, like Surprise, and select OK. With those in there now, when we come down the timeline, I can go ahead and come back over here to the eye switch and say I want eyes selected. Then right here at 30, I can say I want eyes surprise. I'm going to copy this keyframe like we did in the preceding example. Move our timeline down and paste it. But we haven't made any changes to the surprise layer yet. So let's come back to zero. I'll select Surprise. With my G tool, my Selection tool, I'll go ahead and select that point, change to Translate, and I can stretch that up. When we come back to the I Switch layer, now when I move the timeline down, we'll see that we get a nice automatic animation between those two layers. So there is a very elemental introduction into working with switch layers and multiple layers.